Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today I will introduce two link state type of protocols, ISIS and OSPF. But I only briefly introduce ISIS and focus more on the OSPF, Open Shortest Path First. Now let's take a look at the classification of the dynamic routing protocols. There are two classes or two categories of routing protocols. Interior Gateway Protocol, IGP, and Exterior Gateway Protocol, EGP. IGP and EGP are different in terms of autonomous systems where IGP type routing protocol are used within the autonomous system and EGP type routing protocols are used between different autonomous systems. EGP includes one path vector routing protocol, border gateway protocol or BGP used by AS border routers. IGP includes three different types of routing algorithms, distance vector, link state, and hybrid. The distance vector routing include RRP, routing information protocol, and IGRP, interior gateway routing protocol. Link state type includes O. SPF, Open Shortest Path First, and IS to IS, Intermediate System to Intermediate System. The hybrid type the routing includes only one, the EIGRP, Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol. Intermediate System to Intermediate System is IS to IS. IS to IS is a link state protocol, which means each router in a network maintains the database of entire network topology. It also means it has a complete view of a whole network, which includes all the routers of locations and link states and sense of updates about changes in the network to all other routers. IS to IS is used primarily in large enterprise networks, is highly scalable and flexible, supporting both IP version 4 and IP version 6, but is less common than OSPF. So next, I will talk about OSPF. Open Shortest Path First, OSPF. OSPF is a link state routing protocol that is used to exchange routing information between routers in a network. It is designed to work within a single autonomous system. There is no hop limits. It is a complex algorithm for determining best paths, and each router has a complete view of the network. It is more efficient than RRP, and convergence is much faster than RRP, and it also supports IPv6 starting OSPF version 3. Now let's talk about Hello Packets, LSAs. What would happen when a new router joins the OSPF network or some link breaks? Well, that's what Hello Packets come into play. Hello Packets are also called Link State Advertisements, LSA. It is used by a router on an OSPF network 
to share information about the state of network with other routers. LSAs contains information about the routers, links, networks in the area, as well as the matrix, such as the cost of a link. A new router will send a many, a lot of hello packets to introduce itself to other routers, and to discover other routers. Existing routers use hello packets. To update routing information, and once the convergence is reached, all routers will send each other hello package every thirty minutes, unless they detect a break in the link state. Let's talk about OSPF area ID. The use of area IDs serves several purposes in OSPF. One of the main purposes is to help reduce the size of the link state database, which is used to install information about the network. By dividing network into smaller areas, the link state database can be more efficiently managed, and amount of information that needs to be stored is reduced. This can help to improve the performance and scalability of the network, as it allows for more efficient routing of data packets. An area ID is a 32-bit VLAN. It looks like IP address, but it has nothing to do with IP addresses. Example: Area ID 0.0.0.0. Area zero, also known as the backbone area, is a special area that connects all of the other areas in the network. It is the core of the OSPF network and is responsible for routing data packets between various areas. Now let me talk about the different routers on an OSPF network. In an OSPF network, different routers can play different roles. For example, ASBR router, autonomous system board router, is responsible for connecting the internet or other autonomous system. ABR router or area border router is like a bridge. Connecting between different OS is like a bridge between the different areas connecting with other area. DR designated router. DR is a main router in an area which is responsible for one exchanging routing information with other routers in the area. Two, sending and receiving routing updates to and from other routers in the area. BDR is a backup designated router is a backup to the DR in the area. Last point: Why OSPF is popular? There's several reasons. One. OSPF is a link state protocol, which allows a router to get a complete view of the network and use this information to choose the shortest path between any two devices. Thus, compared with distant vectors routing by roamers, OSPF offers better performance and efficiency. So. One is better performance and efficiency. Two is relatively easy to configure and manage. Three, supporting variable length subnet masks, which allows for more flexible subnetting and a better utilization of IP addresses. Four, supporting multiple areas, which allows for more. Hierarchical routing and improved scalability. The last point is widely supported protocol. 
I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time.